Watch this series of drop test videos. You will see a 385 pound or 160 kilogram worker falling on various fall arrest configurations. These three drop tests include rope, cable, and webbing lanyards with no energy absorber. All of the arresting forces are high enough to cause injury. You must use an energy absorber. This drop demonstration shows a 385 pound or 160 kilogram worker who is required to use an E6 energy absorber falling on an E4. The forces are high enough to cause injury. Shown here is a properly configured fall onto a self-retracting device. Note how effectively the SRD minimizes the freefall distance and required clearance. This test shows a properly configured fall onto a vertical lifeline. Forces are at the target arrest force. Shown next is the dummy set up to fall head first. The lanyard and harness are designed to right the fall and have the dummy stop with his head facing up. Forces are at the target amount. This last video demonstrates the dummy falling on an incorrectly attached double leg lanyard. The extra leg is clipped into the side D ring. This creates a dangerous scenario, causing the lanyard to partially fail as the energy absorber is bypassed. The dummy takes the force of the fall on the side D-ring. The harness partially tears. <laughs> 